everyone. My name is Maggie. I'm a team lead for Recycle Ninja platform. It's really a pleasure today to come here and share with you our experience uh, in Hackathon and about how we start a Recycle Ninja project from zero to the vision that we wanted to tackle global waste. Um, before we start, a quick introduction about me. I came from finance and business background. Before this year, I had zero knowledge about coding and I kind of self-taught using different online learning resources such as Udemy. Yeah, a great platform uh, to pick up um, different uh, Python skills and SQL skill as well. And you might be wondering like why and how, how do I make this pivot happen? Um, it started from the beginning of the year, but what accelerated my journey in coding, it's roughly around five months ago, I left a company that I was working with um, and to pursue my full-time career in product management. And that's also the time I had to leave a group of amazing engineers who I really enjoy learning from and working with. Um, and But I also wanted to continue my coding uh, practice, right? So I look around online and I come across women who code platform, a really good platform. If you don't know the platform, uh, the, com the, the community is really open. Everyone is so welcoming. Um, that, that's a moment like I know of Hackathon events and it kind of come out just at the right time. And it's a perfect opportunity for me to learn and grow with different fellow coders around the world. Okay, so enough about me. Let's talk about Recycle Ninja. Uh, when we talked about the project, we wanted to start from what exactly is a problem we're trying to solve. The inspiration about Recycle Ninja idea is really my day-to-day -day challenges. I live and travel around different world um, countries. For It's always challenging every day and a lot of decision point when I try to throw away a garbage. Uh, I feel guilty if I make the mistake because I want to be a good citizen. I want to follow the rule, but it's really tough to follow because recycling rules, city, it, it's different from city to city. As well, it also depends on the type of garbage bins options you have in front of you, right? And, and that strikes me as a big data problem. If we would have enough data sets that we can communicate and make a recommendation for the user, how can they recycle? How do they make the right choice in front of them? Then we can potentially make some impact. So that, that's how I got the idea. And then I pitched this idea in the Slack group. And I was lucky enough to be able to attract some amazing women coders uh, to kind of join uh, the, the project. But let's start from the, the beginning, like team composition, it's 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 new to me. Uh, the reason being Hackathon, it's unique in its nature. It's pretty short. From within a week, we wanted to build a solution from zero to a functioning prototype. What comes to me, it's really about communication and commitment, right? So in, in communication piece, are we able to comfortably talk about what we think? and share our challenges and, and support each other. And, and commitment comes in, well, everyone has other commitment other than heck fun in their life and across different time zones. Can we all sit through this project seven days and bring a, a, a solution to life? So, so when we were talking and figuring out who wanted to be in the project, those are the key things the team discussed about. As in solutioning, I'm naturally more positive person. If I can learn code online on my own, I think there is also great solutions out there. And I'm, I'm so grateful. There are just so many smart coders out there and in my team as well. So we were able to find out the solution in the end. After pitching the project ideas, I was lucky to be able to gather a group of amazing coders. Uh, for first one or two days, be quite honest, it was not very stable because uh, people realized, wow, this is a lot of commitment to build a platform from scratch, right? So uh, some some member does self-select out because uh, time commitment or skill set is not quite fit uh, for all those reasons. Um, but after the first days, um, you can start realize that 
whoever commits who showed up in the in the meeting who brings the solution and research are the ones who will stick to the end. And uh, we all start to become serious on what we can do technically, uh, realistically in 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 one week and discuss a challenge to help each other out. So here I really wanted to shout out to my amazing uh, teammates, Miriam, Udin, and Nashmeya. You guys are amazing. Everybody brings unique value to the project. But it doesn't mean all our time together is smooth sailing, right? We do have challenges. Like there are a couple I can I can share with you. First one, it's on data collection, data gathering. Um, there's so many data out there, but not every city government is very clear about their recycling rule. And even it's clear, how do we get it from the website? And if we're lucky, we get APIs where we can extract the data. If not, then we will have to scrap the data. So that's the first one. And, and the second is to figure out what type of platform do we want to deploy our soft, uh, pl- uh, website on and what type of package we need to use uh, to deploy the website. And the last thing, it's more technical. It's how do we call the data set? If we, if we build a data set, how do we call that? Um, and reflect it on the front end. And well, for who are experienced in the audience, please don't laugh because this is really a challenge for the first timer. And a lot of us are really the first time trying to figure out that problem. So we do and now come up the solution, right? Um, so we decide our primary primary language for coding is Python. We use Selenium and then we look for APIs to kind of put our data together. And for data analysis, kind of we use that to justify our argument why global waste is such a big issue. We, we, we look into different type of data set and kind of use Seaborn, Plotly, or met plot lib to visualize our analysis. In the end, for deployment, we use Flex package, we use HTML, CSS, and, and Heroku as a platform to deploy our solution. So yeah, there, there are certainly like some moments that are super memorable. Um, at some point, we have a lot of challenges. Team can feel quite frustrated, especially under time pressure. And that's when you rely on your team member the most. Uh, lucky we have Miriam. She is always very positive, kind of cheer everybody on and looking for different solutions for discussion. And we also have Udina. She works long hours to, to kind of set up our database and also draft backend logic so everybody can visualize how actually this will work out, right? And the other memorable moment is at the very end of submission, since we work for hours for this project, we need a front end to make it look good. And then we don't want to miss the deadline either. And everyone's kind of in different time zones. So like as time passes our own uh, on time zone, we were so worried. We all missed uh, the deadline. And I think that's a funny moment. But Nashmia pull off in the end. She works super hard and like that shows she's amazing coder. She put every piece together and make our website visualize so well. So that's a point like you realize in the end, you can only trust your, your teammates will deliver it. And that's their skill there. That's what they are good at. And when they come meet you, trust it. And it comes back to the initial expectation setting we want someone who can communicate and who can commit through and when we agree you have to trust your team and because all of that it's really worth it great experience and we won the first place yes so (laughs) this was really really fun time for everybody um and on top of that, I think this project has a lot of potential for sure. In the future, this can go in many different ways. Um, if we continue gathering data and build more functional, uh, more data sets uh, from different city government, and it can be very um, easy to use, um, become more useful, right? And also, like we should be able to identify different type of garbage uh, that's available in different type of city. Now, it's slightly more difficult and because garbage being come different shape or forms. But 
but once if we have those image, we'll have better matching. And in the end, we can put it on the mobile app, which was our initial idea, but we were only able to, uh, with the time constraint and resource, uh, we kind of use a website to demo our idea. We also look into a computer vision idea, like imagine if you can just take a picture of your garbage and the, uh, and the garbage in front of you, and then in, in less than five seconds, you can kind of have that advice. Um, that would be amazing. But at this point, from what our research, um, there's not enough uh, labeled data set available, but I think in the future, this can go really far. Again, I would like to say thank you for my team, um, for, for everybody's hard work to bring this to life. And thank you for Women Who Code, give us this opportunity to learn and grow. 